everybody and welcome. For regular viewers of the channel, I'd just like to start out by saying this isn't one of my files, but one that I downloaded from Silhouette Design Store by Studio Illustrado. So this is how the file actually opens. And as you can see, it's on a 12 by 12. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is reduce my canvas size to A4, because this is the standard size of card that I have, um, so that I can reorganize the file slightly to get it to cut out properly. Okay, so I've done that. And the next thing I want to do is I'd like to make this file as big as possible. So firstly, I'm gonna to look to see which is the biggest piece, which is this central piece here. So that's gonna limit how big we can make the project. And then select everything, it should already be grouped together, and just pull it so that it's as big as it can be and still fit on the A4 sheet. Now you need to do this with everything grouped so that you keep the aspect ratio between everything so it still fits together properly. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna ungroup everything because I need to move it around the page. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take each sort of piece separately and make sure that they're grouped together. So when I move it, I'm moving everything, all the cutting lines um, and all the edges of it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the individual pieces back on the A4 sheet so that they all cut together in the different colors. So um, diggers are yellow, so this is gonna be our yellow piece of card. So I'm just putting the bits of the digger that are gonna be yellow and then grouping them together and putting them to one side. And then I'm doing it with all the different, so this is another yellow piece. These ones will be black or gray, group them together. And then I'm sending it to cut and just cutting it on cardstock. And then as you can see, I've used, um, well, it was four pieces of A4 card in the end. It was a gray piece, a black piece, and then there were also two yellow pieces that I did. And this was enough to cut out everything that needed for the digger. Okay, so, the um, people that designed this file have done their own video as well, which I will link to in the blog post and also on the bottom of this um, video. So but I'm just going to run through it as well, uh, because sometimes it's helpful to see things twice or by different people. So I'm just putting the grey cab part together. Now that's quite a nice little part to put together. It's all sort of self-contained. And I'm just using the double-sided adhesive to do that. Okay, there we go. The next bit I'm going to do is a bit tricky and that is making the body of the digger. Now it's quite a clever little file in that it, the body of the digger actually forms a nice little box that you can put things into, but it's just a little bit tricky to put together because you've got the two sides of the box, which are the two sides of the digger, and then sort of the, the bit one edge that goes all the way round is a single piece and you just have to be super careful and really take your time to attach it all together using the straight edges as a guide on how to put it together. So I'm just attaching the longest edge here. There we go. Again with double sided adhesive and then just a quick time lapse of going all the way around and there you can see I've done sort of one two sides of the box and then just take the adhesive off and stick the other side on so you've got the body of the digger all done there we go and as you can see there's a little flap at the back so you've made essentially a box. There we go. So mine doesn't quite fit, so I didn't quite take enough time over it, but you'll be able to take a lot more time over yours. Um, then what I'm going to do is this sort of funny shaped piece. Um, I'm sticking it together to give it a shape and then using the flaps and actually folding them 
outwards rather than inwards so it seems like a little bit counterintuitive and then you're using those to sort of position this insert piece into the main part of the digger okay, hopefully the video is enough to show you how to do that clearly and then this this part is sort of the last really fiddly part on this project There we go. So hopefully you can see how that went together. And now I'm just going to put the bucket part together and that is super simple. There we go. And then this part just glues onto the front of the digger and I'm just going to do that with some double sided tape. Just because I don't, when I'm doing these videos, I don't really have a lot of time for waiting to wait for glue to dry and things, so it's just quicker and easier for me to show you using that. Okay, and this just sticks onto the front of the digger. I went for it to book it up, but you could always do it the other way if you really wanted to. There we go. And then it's just a case of adding the other embellishments onto the sides of the digger so the little ladders and also the wheels so just a, a quick word about the wheels so I did two black the two black large bits and then I didn't put the smaller wheels on which just go sort of in the center because they were also black in retrospect I'd probably cut it out like a silver color next time okay there we go that is the finished project so Really easy to cut out, a little bit tricky to put together, but my little boy absolutely loved it, so it was well worth it. Thank you for watching.